by day. And I, the only one wise enough to see it. Hey guys, and welcome to Little Black Book. You really know what time it is, baby. We're talking to you guys about Wonder Woman and how God actually is in the Marvel films. Yes, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and that bell button for the what? Notification of the upload, baby. And for those of your returnees, you ain't got the minerals. You ain't got the minerals. Ah, listen, boom, boom. Let's get into the video. So I'm gonna run the video um, um, and um, kind of talk in between and cut it so you guys can see. So, so um, the first thing we see, um, uh, which is um, we see um, Ares, which is the god of war in Greek mythology. Okay, and he's also a son of Zeus. We see Z uh, Ares um, in this scene with Diana, and he's talking to her, saying he wanted all the gods to see. Um, what mankind was like. All I ever wanted was for the gods to see how evil my father's creation was. And they refused. He wanted all the gods to see. Now, when he says all the gods, the Bible says in Genesis 6, um, it says the sons of God. And it's talking about the fallen angels or the angels in general, right? And so we see this sons of God also being used in Job, okay? So the sons of God represent angels and they can also represent man. As the Bible says in John 1, where it talks about we have become sons of God by the power not of man, but of the power of the blood. Okay, cool. But here in this particular instance, He's talking about the gods. Now, in Greek mythology, the gods represent fallen angels. Fallen angels. Because all these gods have specific powers, right? All these gods have different types of um, abilities, etc. These are fallen angels in our Bible. Principalities, we talk about, that are responsible for different things on the earth. Okay, that they were responsible uh, responsible for in heaven. All right, and they tra they've just translated their ability down on earth for the uh, coming against mankind. Let me just put it that simply. Now, when Aries says also he wants gods to see this, this is exactly what we see in terms of what Satan is trying to do. So we see that Satan is trying to corrupt mankind in the Garden of Eden in Genesis three to show to to, to kind of um, show to God that listen, I'm not the only one that's going down. I'm taking your creation down with me i need you to see how evil they are which is exactly what he says he wants to see he wants to show them how evil mankind is how wrong it was for god or for zeus to make mankind to make him see that his creation is wrong and that's the same thing we see in the bible we're seeing that satan is trying to take us out not because of us but because of jesus it's got it's, listen brother we are the collateral damage fam we are the victims in this case yeah we didn't even want nothing with satan Satan's problem isn't, is not directly with us, it's indirectly to us because of who Jesus is. All I ever wanted was for the gods to see how evil my father's creation was. My father's creation was. My father's creation was. Understand? It's because of who the father has, has um, because of the father and the fact that, you know what, he's given mankind dominion and authority on earth where he was cast down onto. And we see this because later on in the video, I'll show you, you see this. He's also said he was cast down. He was brutally wounded by a fight with Zeus. He ruined it day by day. And I, the only one wise enough to see it, was left too weak to stop them. All these years, I have struggled alone. And he was, you know what I mean? And this is what, this is what the Bible talks about in Isaiah and Ezekiel, that he was cast down. We see this in Luke 10 verse 18. We see it in Revelations um, 12, where he was cast out from heaven by the, um, by the brother of the Lamb and the word of the testimony. Interestingly enough, Zeus has a child with the, uh, one of the um, women of the, the, I don't know, the Amazonian woman or whatever. And that's how we get Diana, right? Because Diana's uh, father is Zeus, okay? Now, we need to understand this. That, 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 that same way that obviously, how does Zeus necessarily have sex with somebody who's not uh, also a god? Is, is technically the same thing what happened with Jesus. The Bible says that Jesus was immaculately conceived in the sense of it was, a, it was a seed of, it was a Holy Spirit that conceived Jesus. That's what the Bible talks about. The Holy Spirit breathed, if you want to, you want to call it that, or the Holy Spirit came upon Mary and she conceived Jesus. So the father of Jesus is the father in heaven, not Joseph. And so in the same way Diana's father is not here on the Amazonian level, but in the heavens, Zeus is the exact same connection. I want you to understand this. Marvel, DC, they are written by Jews, 
originally not all of them but a lot of them are jews so a lot of the stories that they produce out there are based upon the torah and a bit are based upon the prophecies of jesus christ so what they don't realize is every time you're watching marvel you're actually watching an unraveling because satan doesn't like jesus so he's what he, what he shows you is an unraveling or a distortion of the story of Jesus so that you can focus on not seeing the truth because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 verse 4 he has blinded those from being able to see the truthfulness of the gospel all right cool the next thing is um Diana is called the god killer she thought the god killer was a sword the god killer my dear child is not the god killer. You are. No, she was a god killer. The Bible says that Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. You understand? Um, and just as just as um, Jesus was tempted in Matthew 4 and Luke 4, saying that I will give you the whole world, Diana also in this is tempted by Aries. He's saying, listen, join me. Come and join me and we'll make this earth even better. And you could see what the other gods could not. Then you would join me and with our powers combined, we could finally end all the pain, all the suffering, the destruction they bring. And he starts showing her what the earth could be like. It's the same thing that was done to Jesus when he was taken to the top of the mountaintop and said, listen, all of this could be yours. Just worship me and bow. Now, the worship me and bow is compromise. In the same way that if Diana had compromised by joining, by joining Aries, she too would have been bowing down and worshipping Aries instead of doing what we're supposed to do. All right? Cool. Um, you liar. I compel you to tell me the truth. I am. Um, Eri's response to her question about um, um, is, is he telling the truth when she puts a lasso around him, right? And I want you to pay attention to this because this is very much on purpose, okay? This also was done in the Avengers film. If you don't know, this is also done in the Avengers film. In the scene where Ultron was um, saying, upon this rock, I will build my, right? It's the same thing that he also said, um, he also said the words, I am. I'm not Ultron. I'm not Jarvis. I am. I am. I want you to understand the words I am come from Exodus 3 verse 14. It's very important because that Exodus 3 verse 14 is donating that God said, my name is, don't worry about that, it's I am. And it's the same thing Jesus said in John, where he said to the, to, to the Jews, they asked him, you can't be older than Abraham. And he said, listen, before Abraham was, I am. And the Jews picked up stones to stone him. Why? Because he had made himself equal to God by saying he's the I am. Because the Jews knew that that was what the name that was given to them when Moses came to deliver them from Egypt. So in the same way, Jesus Christ is saying that he is the I am. He's saying a blasphemous thing if he's not God himself. And so we hear that it's intentional as well, that the way he said, the way he said, oh, are you telling the truth? He said, I am. The reason why he said that, again, is to illustrate the fact that he calls himself a God, the God. And the Bible says this, because Aries is representing Satan, the Bible says this in um, Isaiah, that Satan wanted to set his, his throne above gods on the mountaintop. It's like, gee, you are not God, but he wanted to set his, mount he wanted to set his throne above gods because that's how he sees himself. He's filled with pride and iniquity. You understand? And so the same thing with Aries. I am not the god of war, Diana. I am the god of truth. Mankind stole this world from us. And then Aries says, listen, he's not the god of um he's not the god of war, but he is the god of truth. And that's so funny because the Bible says that Satan doesn't come. Uh, Satan um, dresses himself as an angel of light. And now an angel of light is an angel of truth. Because the light is the truth. Because the truth is Jesus. And Jesus said, I am the light. That light of all men. And the Bible says he came on earth in the body of man to be what? Grace and truth. So Jesus Christ is truth. He's the way, the truth, and the what? The light. So the moment you say that you're actually, that, that you're actually uh, the, the God of truth, you're saying you're the God of... You're, you're saying you're the God of light. 
You understand? And that's why the Bible says that he presents himself as an angel of light. So when he says he's not the God of war, he's now trying to present himself like he does in the Bible to, to what? To deceive. Because the Bible says he does what? He does to steal, kill and destroy. And that's what he does in that film. Mankind stole this world from us. And then he says, it goes on to say, listen, mankind stole this world from us. Right? Mankind stole this world from us. And why? The Bible says, listen, and the reason why I believe that is, it's very close to Satan is because in Genesis, um, or when in Genesis, Satan's allowed to enter into the garden to now tempt Adam and Eve. But he was already cast down before then. So the earth was his domain. Because his paradise in heaven had been cast off and he was thrown down to earth. The moment man got created, they were also given dominion. I'm sure that really rocked his rocker. You know, that really ticked him off. How can you create man? What's going on? How can you create man to have dominion when this is my place? Do you get me? So the same thing when he said mankind has stolen his wealth from us. How can he steal from us when, when it's not made for you? It was made for mankind. The only one wise enough to see it was And then obviously we showed the, it showed the imagery of him falling from the clouds and I said to you already, that's Revelation 12, that's Luke 10 verse 18 where Jesus Christ says, I beheld Satan fall like lightning from the fire. This is a similar imagery that was used in 11, 11, 11, the film 11, 11, 11, which was, um, I can't remember the, what the Greek one also where um, they were fighting in that as well and the Greek gods were in that as well. And one of the gods fell from the sky and hurtled down like lightning from the sky down onto the earth. Same imagery. All the time, all the time, Greek mythology mirrors what the Bible is doing, what the Bible has said. Um, and then he says, obviously, whilst he was cast down all these years, he has struggled because he's too weak. And so what he's done is to whisper in the ears of men, right? And so the Bible says this, it says, um, submit to God and resist the devil and he shall flee, right? But it also says this, that... Satan is like a lion, seeking for whom he may devour. Roaming around, seeking for whom he may devour. He's like a lion. That means he's not a lion. Because the original lion is a lion of Judah. That's Jesus. He's like a lion. So he presents himself in a certain way as if he can do something. He wants to present the image that will make you fear, but he can't do nothing. And so when he says this, ah, I was just going around and whispering in their ears. Struggled alone, whispering into their ears. Ideas, inspiration. For formulas, weapons, but I don't make them use them. They start these wars on their own. He goes on later on to say, listen, he whispered in their ears, but he doesn't make them use it. Do you deep it? This is what he said. He said, listen, I whisper in their ears, but I don't make them use it. That is the same thing the Bible says, talks about when it says, never say that God tempts you. You understand? God doesn't tempt you. You are tempted by your own desires that lead you down a, 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 a deathly path, basically. Yeah. So what Satan said, listen, I use those desires that they have and I whisper in their ears and I tell them some things. I help them with their guns. I help them with their technology. I help them with this. And that's why I said to you, listen, you're not deep in that. This whole thing about angels that are doing these, the, the, the Greek gods that are doing all these things, they are principalities and principalities and fallen angels that are in charge of different departments on this earth yeah and he mentions them he said talks about um guns and um, war and 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 uh different technology etc et he's part of all of that he whispers in the air and then they do it so this is what i said to you about men can be demonically inspired to do certain things who is orchestrate and honest is i know they cannot keep in the hope they will destroy themselves he then says, obviously, he um, orchestrates artlessness that they cannot keep. And I was, I was like, what is the word artlessness? I didn't realize artlessness is a form of innocence. It is the, uh, he orchestrates innocence. So basically what he's saying is that he, he strips them of their innocence by just saying something. Almost like he knows that they can't keep up. Because once he whispers in the air, same with Adam and Eve, they were innocent until he came in and began to whisper in their ears. It's just, no, there's no, there's no, it's not an unintentional link that Ares is doing everything that Satan did. Because every character that becomes a villain has strands of what Satan would do. Because that's why they're a villain. And every, every hero is trying to be a saviour, has a saviour complex like Jesus. 
Because a story can never, ever, ever go away from the greatest hero and villain um, story to ever exist that is truthful. It's always working on those particular um, foundations. Um, when you first arrived, I was going to crush you. But I knew that if only you could see what the other gods could not. Um, he said, oh, when Diana arrived, he was going to destroy her, right? But then he realized, um, he, he, and then, um, oh, so yeah, when he, when he said, when Diana first arrived, he was going to destroy her, right? And he's going to crush her. And we see this with Jesus as well. As, as because Diana's a God killer, and also this perfect child that was created, the same way Jesus was also the one that would come and destroy the works of Satan. At his birth, at his birth, they were trying to kill him. Do you see? At his birth, they were trying to kill him. And so, um, you know, Herod was issuing that saying, listen, they wanted a consensus. Why? Because his power would be under threat. Do you see? And then later on he goes, he hoped that Dana would see what other gods could not see. And that's why when Jesus, um, um, Jesus uh, was... Um, taken to the to the mountaintop he hoped that Jesus would be able to see what he's seeing and bow down and worship um, and so yeah that is um, a, a little diagnostic of um, watching uh, Wonder Woman I'll do a part two to this because there is a part two which I want you to see this thing it's so scarily eerily clear but I wanted, I wanted to break it, break it down to you so if you guys are new to the channel make sure you like share subscribe click on that bell button for no what Cushion, baby. And for those of you returnees, you already know what it is. Mineral gang. Yet me. Hope you like, share, subscribe this, man. Boom!